Hello and welcome to The Works. I'm Ben Che. And I'm Ben Peltier. Later on this week's show, a trip to the Baltic region for a sample of Polish impressions. Taking us on that musical journey is the Baltic Neopolis Orchestra, founded in Szczecin, Poland in 2008. But before venturing to Central Europe, we're heading somewhere much closer to home, to the northeastern New Territories of Hong Kong. The three-century-old Hakka village of Kukpo is currently the center stage for an ongoing community cultural project. Pink 文好的方式去到問觀眾或者帶出一個議題,到底谷浦是一個島呢?Cook is a Hakka village located near Shatalkok in the northeastern New Territories. The village dates back to the 17th or 18th century. By the late Qing dynasty, around 500 people lived here. By the 1970s, affected by increasing urbanization and industrialization, many residents had moved away. Farmland succumbed to salt water, giving way to marshland and mangrove trees. The village was deserted. In 2021, the Center for Chinese Architecture and Urbanism of HKU Faculty of Architecture received funding from the Countryside Conservation Funding Scheme to initiate the Kukpo Vision Project. This autumn, the department invited ink painter Shum Kuan Yi to hold the first art exhibition at the rebuilt village school, Kai Choi School. Setting 我在畫片上畫了一些原稿紙的格子 Choi School was built in the early 1930s with the village's own money. The current exhibition space is an extension to the school built in 1963. The school shut its doors in 1993. The roof and beams have since collapsed. The University of Hong Kong's team has embarked on a renovation project to rebuild the roof and hopes this will become a permanent art space. So Wang Wei Yen believes that successful conservation of rural areas and villages requires understanding their background and architectural characteristics. Kai Choi School, now designated a Grade 3 historic building, includes a temple. Wang hopes to use it as a starting point to invite artists to showcase the various aspects of Hakka architecture in Kuk Po through ink painting. <laughs> 三我们叫三开间那前廊是front 
公共空间啊，我们最后取了个名字叫古朴客厅啊，就是一个大家的地方。人到了古朴，就有一个 sense of arrival， 到了这个地方，看住后面的这个湿地，然后也可以看到前面的海。我们那时候就想，这个地方这么好，是不是能够带出一些新的活动进来啊？那我自己呢，平常喜欢。呃，去看画展啦，所以我就想到“艺术古朴”这个字啊，那这个事情就把另外一种文化带进来了呢啊，希望将来变成一个古朴的，大家香港人都知道的一个另类的社区文化的一个艺术空间。Cookpo Common is now a venue for Art Cookpo, a series of exhibitions centered around the four seasons. Shum Kuan Yi enjoys hiking and is a skilled landscape painter. She likes to use darker colors in her work. Her current exhibition was inspired by a floor plan from the HKU research team. Because first 嘅樹其實嗰個生命力好強嘅，咁就睇到呢度嘅時候就有啲震撼到我，跟住我就畫咗嗰批嘅作品。咁我亦都畫咗一啲樹喺嗰個嘅廢墟花園嘅嗰啲平面圖入邊，嗰啲樹點樣喺嗰個平面圖入邊咧？誒，掙扎咁樣去到生存，又或者係衝破嗰個嘅牆壁去生出去咁樣咧。個呢度嘅居民嚟講，因為對於佢哋嚟講，可能生活咗好多年啦。如果由我嗰個角度去到睇嗰鋪呢個地方，佢哋可能又會揾到一啲，或者係勾起佢哋一啲嘅回憶咁樣樣咯。咁我就會覺得係成個展覽，我希望做到嘅地方咁樣。我到了古朴，看到這個村子海岸，跟這個紅樹林，跟這個白鹭鶴。我马上就很喜欢了。那你就希望你能做一些什么事情，不只是为了自己的建筑的理想啊，也是为了整个自然的环境，也是为了社区的居民嘛，甚至更大一点。我们希望香港市民来这里有一个不要太 artificial， 不要太 commercial， 很自然的享受乡村，又能够被保存下来啊，然后又能够有更多的呃个别的我们说 bottom up。由下而上的这种参与。A new art space has opened up in Abley Chow. It's called Ya Young Art, and fittingly, its inaugural exhibition is titled Housewarming. On show until the 8th of December, the exhibition features works on the theme of home by six young Hong Kong artists, Curtis Chen, Kwan Yong Yi, Eric Lai, Lau Si Man, Doris Ng, and He Yi Tan. Located in Horizon Plaza, a building that also contains fashion outlets and interior design retail shops, the art space differentiates itself from the standard white cube we've come to expect of art galleries. Works are being shown alongside a collection of European-designed furniture. The six artists in the exhibition are chosen by the Young Arts Initiative, a program initiated by the 3812 Gallery that aims to bring together not only artists but also curators, industry professionals. Collectors and art lovers.
Welcome back. The Baltic Neapolis Orchestra is a string chamber orchestra founded in 2008 in Szczecin, Poland. It has a wide-ranging repertoire, but particularly likes to focus on new commissions and avant-garde projects. Last Wednesday, as part of its Asia tour, Polish Impressions, the orchestra was in Hong Kong for a concert of music by contemporary composers. A day before the concert, orchestra members came to our studio with representatives of the Consulate General of the Republic of Poland in Hong Kong to tell us more about the country's rich musical traditions. I'm here in the studio with representatives from the Polish Consul General's office here in Hong Kong and also an artistic director and director of the Baltic Neopolis Orchestra. I'd like to begin with the musicians, I suppose, and, uh, and focus on why you're really here specifically in Hong Kong and what sort of uh, musical uh, gems from Poland can we expect to hear from you? So actually we came here to present the best of the best of Polish modern music and that what we brought here, it's, uh, they are compositions from Polish young composers, uh, which uh, we commissioned the pieces from them last, de last decade, last 10 years. It takes a lot of time to prepare that kind of program. And among these com composers, we have uh, 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 Paweł Łukaszewski, Piotr Mikołaj Górecki, but we also will perform one of the greatest Polish uh, person and composer, uh, which is Ignacy, Jan Ignacy Paderewski, uh, his piano concerto. So this is what we want to present here in this part of the world. And yet this is the Hong Kong debut of the, of the orchestra. Yes, it? yes, it is. We have never been here. The pieces we are going to play are very personal because the music we we commissioned and we wanted to be composed for us in a certain way that it can be performed by us everywhere we want and we can we would like to repeat this that pieces as much as possible. We recorded a CD with this music two years ago and since then we just go around the, the world and a mostly Europe, like now Asia. Uh, like a bit a rock band has <laughs> their own music uh, because uh, I think only us play this music. Yeah. Uh, so we are very happy to present that. It is modern, but it's written in a way that everyone really loves it. Very like immediate. It. Yes. Very immediate. A little bit more about this this project that you've mentioned. This is actually only part one, I understand, yeah. of what is even a mm. bigger uh, a bigger sort of yeah. thing. Uh, tell us about the the bigger picture. I mean, the project is called Polish Concerti. So the idea is to play around with the format concerto, which is soloist plus orchestra. Our orchestra is a very small ensemble. It's a 15-player uh, band, uh, string uh, orchestra. Uh, and the idea is to have always a possibility to have also pe members of the orchestra uh, to play as in the role of soloists. For example, we have a violin concerto, we have a violin cello concerto, we have a string quartet plus orchestra concerto, we have a 15 uh, soloist uh, piece. So the idea is really to play around with this concept. And the volume two is already on the way because yes. we already have we commissioned already two pieces, uh, new pieces. Uh, written and premiered. Uh, we haven't recorded yet, but I mean, it's, it's a really, really long term project. And uh, I think it's a unique project uh, and we really love it to, to present it everywhere we go, basically. So one interesting aspect of the orchestra's appearance here in Hong Kong is that it's heavily supported by governmental funding yes. from uh, the Polish government. And so that brings in uh, you folks, I suppose, yes. as representatives uh, of the Consul General's office in Hong Kong. Yeah, and this is this the best part of our job, I would say. Because <laughs> usually people are thinking that what you do uh, working in the consulate, and it's quite not challenging, <laughs> probably, let's say. But in the same time, this kind of a job I can describe is that we Personally, me, I have the opportunity to meet fantastic people like here, and not only the orchestra, but work with the colleagues who specialize in the performing arts, who are here is oh, Agnieszka, our colleague, she has a PhD in fine arts in one of the largest art academy in, in Poland. But in the same time as I'm supposed to describe it, we are have this administrative role, so we have this blossom trees, and we are the grey roots of them. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think what's, what Magda just said, it's very important that the role of consulate should support the very like uh, unique artists and people who want to say something. And we are very happy uh, that we can do that. And I mostly like to present things that are very unique and special uh, and somehow uh, already famous in Europe, but can be also known here in Hong Kong. So thank you for coming for the yeah. orchestra and being with us. And we are also a part of a bigger project because the, the, the concert will be supported the whole tour mm -hmm. by the Minister of Foreign, Foreign Affairs from mm -hmm. Poland. So mm -hmm. we are also happy to be a part of, uh, of that. And uh, yes, uh, me myself also, I, I experienced being here a freelancer, an artist. I tried many different roles, but I'm very happy to be a part of the, the bigger like Polish consulate that I can uh, like meet many interesting artists mm -hmm. and support them as well and to work on the new projects. So we did promote like a Polish poster here, the Polish dress, and now we have the Neopolis Orchestra. With it. It's always something that we want to show, like a, combining the history of Poland, but also the contemporary part of it. So of course, everyone knows Chopin and yeah. our best <laughs> composers and <laughs> artists, yeah? But we want to bring uh, the, the, the people, the new generations, the new ideas, concepts and uh, the, the quality. So for, for me, for example, the Moniuszka is really special because <laughs> I was brought up in an industrial city that is in the centre of Poland, it's called Łódź, and the anthem of the city was the very famous piece of Moniuszka. And uh, when we were in Shanghai, we did the experiment because it's not only to bring that Poli to show the the Polish art here, but also we are um, very keen on having this uh, um, inter-perspective that we can combine the cultures. So we played, for example, in Shanghai with the Gujan, uh, uh, the Gujan musicians. Moniuszko is very, uh, I think you have to help me, but the, the, he used a lot of strings instruments, yes. yeah? Mm -hmm. And the Gujan sound is also similar to this, what mm -hmm. he composed. Mm -hmm. So this what we are proud of, that not only we can have, we can share of Poland, but we can give back those influence that is here to the Polish artist. Because mm. whenever they are coming back to Poland, they are thinking about, you know, doing something that will be like choosing, you know, combining two pieces together, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I understand that you've prepared, along with uh, some other colleagues, yeah. who not not currently here, uh, that, that you're going to be performing here in the studio uh, something. Can you, can you please... Uh, Introduce us to that so we have some perspective. Yeah, Moniuszko was a very famous uh, opera composer. He's kind of contemporary of Chopin, and but he's not so well known. Uh, he wrote two string quartets, and we are playing uh, the scares of the first one. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. 